The datas are the secret behind the Blacklist's tenth and final season's poor ratings. The Blacklist has challenged Ray Donovan for Dad TV supremacy since 2013. To be fair, Dad TV series are not only for dads, and many were caught on the Who is Reddington gimmick, but the Blacklist has a dad-like vibe that is hard to deny. The episode shows a real man with a difficult relationship with his daughter, and a lifetime of sorrow concealed under a smooth appearance. The Blacklist's dad following seemed inevitable with James Spader as Raymond Reddington, the criminal mastermind. Spader captures the FBI's most wanted enigma's flamboyance and wit. Spader has the assertive self-respect and assurance of Redding, wearing only high-quality robes and surrounded by intriguing brains. His new scruffy style in the Blacklist's tenth season adds to his melancholy and mystery. The older generation followed Spader throughout the Blacklist due to his remarkable resume and popularity in 90 seconds films and TV like Pretty in Pink and Stargate. He excels at on-ball roles like Reddington, which he plays effortlessly. Reddington is all a dad dreams he could be, older and formal in his speech. Reddington has always been morally ambiguous, sometimes doing the correct thing in a roundabout way. We predict Elizabeth Keene's horrified reaction every time Reddington uses a case for his own game. The wicked man is usually imprisoned or killed. Reddington's tit-for-tat method, bad. As Reddington's extensive network of spies, private information, and criminal partners protects Elizabeth, his moral uncertainty takes on a fatherly tone. It is basically a dad program, showcasing the most controversial but endearing father figure in television. Real man concerns on screen usually involve restoring relationships with children, masking previous pain behind a harsh exterior, career dissatisfaction, and marital issues. Dad shows rely on them. Brief flashbacks of Reddington's past and Elizabeth's mother demonstrate his grief. Although we can only guess who he is, his past experiences and professional training strongly impact his criminal behavior. Dad shows manly norms include drowning sad experiences via violence. An excessive fixation with protecting Elizabeth like a parent seals it. Elizabeth's relationship with him swings between plotting to assassinate him and inheriting his criminal empire. Even while Elizabeth's petty remarks at case briefings annoy us, dancing near a motel pool endears us to their partnership. Her insistence on being suspicious of Reddington and arrogant when she discovers his plan is exhausting and reminiscent of a spoiled teenager. Their volatile relationship parallels most father-daughter relationships, presumably without the murdering. Dad's desire to prove their intelligence by solving a serial killer's whereabouts or Reddington's identity. Of course most TV investigative crime series are dad ones. These show's plots are reassuring. Each episode features a crime and a suspect. They are frequently caught in one episode after intense inquiry and a flawless revelation. Each season includes a big evil whose action-packed death sequence and cliffhanger reveal are assured. The Blacklist's expected storyline has a complex side hunt for Reddington's identity. The show's complex premise of a wanted criminal turning informant for immunity is plausible. Dad shows are complex enough to be entertaining but simple enough to follow. Every crime drama needs an unusually diversified investigation team. Whatever. Aram Majdabai becomes a badass, Donald Ressler seeks retribution, and Harold Cooper becomes more lawless with each season of The Blacklist. Dad shows prefer ethically ambiguous characters. Dembe, like every dad, is Reddington's confidant. Dembe's spirituality balances Reddington's reality in the show's most soothing friendship. Season 9 changes their relationship as Dembe joins the FBI. Dembe's conflict of interest leaves Reddington alone in the criminal world throughout season 9. Losing a drinking buddy, worse. What's Dad's worldwide will be furiously collecting notes and writing theories to answer the show's many questions before the finale. Hope you liked the video. Flip the channel bell and subscribe to see more. Like to support the channel. Thanks.